Hey, Fireheads. Hey, I hope that you guys are enjoying your day. Um, thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions, okay? I am introducing something new on my channel, which is story time. Every Friday, I'm going to do my best to bring you guys a story. And it still revolves around everything that you go through, I go through, and tarot, okay? But listen, because my life is a movie. Yeah, you heard me. My life is motherfucking movie. So, with that being said, let's get right on into this story. So, I, about nine months ago, I wanted to jump into the world of tarot. You know, I knew that my gifts were to go further, you know, and I had been operating just intuitively since I was 13. And I was like, I just want more. I want to dive deeper into this. I want to dive deeper into the things that I hear, the things that I hear to tell other people. So, and I have always been into tarot now. And what I mean by into tarot, like just reading my, you know, uh, reading uh, the tarot messages, the horoscopes, and, you know, little things like that, little astrology here, a little numerology there, things like that. But I never, you know, dived into it myself. I just was completely operating off of my intuitive gifts, okay? I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudience. I am clairsentient, okay? I'm all that I can hear. I can smell, you know what I mean? I can see all of that, but let's move right along. So, um, in 2000 and I'm thinking it was, I'm, I'm almost sure it was 2018. In 2018, I bought a tarot deck and, you know, I'm trying to get one that, explained that like gave a, a one little word some type of clue of what the car would mean but it just was so car i don't know i just wasn't completely aligned yet so i threw it in my trunk you know i have a chest in my bedroom i threw it in there i wasn't thinking about it no more but it sparked i mean on on this particular day nine months ago something said grab those tarot cards out of that trunk and i did that i grabbed the tarot cards out the trunk y'all <laughs> and when i tell you <coughs> <coughs> i'm not even smoking some don't want this <coughs> i'm not even smoking y'all some do not want this to get out we gonna bind that up right now we gonna bind that up right now, ain't we though? Yes, we gonna bind that up right now because I know that my stories of life, my testimonies of life, the things that I go through are only to help you. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm here to help you. And if my testimony, it can give you even a bit of encouragement, that means I've done my job. And I bind whoever, whoever sending this shit my way, I bind it and send it back to their ass. You hear me? You hear me? Let me tell you, my angels have charge over me daily. And I'm telling them to go get them. Go get them. Whoever fucking with me, I tell my angels what? Go get them. And that's what you should be doing. Whoever fucking with you, tell your angels, go get them. Go handle, the, go handle that. Go handle that. Yeah. We gonna bind that up. But let's get back to the story, y'all. So, look, I'm, I mean, it was like I just knew. And I had not. Remember I told y'all I had looked at the cards. A few times and I put them motherfuckers right back in the trunk. I was like, I don't know what's, uh, what this is. You know, I'm like, I don't know what this is. That's all I kept saying. <laughs> Even tried to read the book and was like, why do I have to have a book? You know, I was just going through all kind of stages at that moment. So once I picked this tarot deck up, I'm going to show y'all the tarot deck. It is. This is the tarot deck. I'm going to get it right here, y'all. Once I picked this tarot deck up, Let me tell y'all. Once I pick this tarot deck up, it's this tarot deck right here. It was as if I <clears throat> had known everything. It, it was like I woke, I went to bed. I went to bed one way and I woke up somebody. I'm not going to say somebody else. I woke up as me. Okay? I woke up as my soul instead of living... 
as my flesh. I woke up as my soul. Yep, I woke up as my soul instead of living as my flesh. And it was miraculous to me. And I just, you know, was, was telling my son, I was telling my sisters, I was, you know, just telling everybody like, yo, it's something happened to me in my sleep. I mean, I'm telling y'all, I just kept saying it's something happened to me in my sleep. I kept saying, I went to, I did not go to bed like this. When I went to bed, I wasn't like how I was. When I woke up the next morning, I was completely, my sensors, my sensories was like on a whole nother freaking level. I mean, it was so miraculous. It was so um, supernatural. That's the word. Not miraculous. But yeah, I guess you can use miraculous. It was so supernatural. It almost scared me a little bit because I was like, oh my God. Like. Y'all, have y'all ever just watched one of those, like, sci-fi movies or something? Or, I don't know, like, where the the kid probably finds something or, and when they wake up and now they can all of a sudden have the powers of what they found in the woods or some shit and they can hear and they got powers and, you know, like, one of, that's how I woke up. Like, I know y'all like, this motherfucker crazy, but I ain't crazy. I'm six minutes into this. I'm six minutes into this. I'm about to end this soon. I'm telling y'all, I'm not freaking crazy. This is story time. This story time, y'all. I woke up like I had uh, just some type of these extraordinary gifts, okay? Like, they weren't, they, my gifts were my gifts, but they weren't like this. It was like, what the freak this come from? I could hear everything. I could see, smell, take, I'll be, it was just like, what in the crap? So it, it did become overwhelming, but I was so proud and so happy of myself, right? Because I felt like I had graduated. I felt like everything, <laughs> glory to God, because he's so wonderful. He's so gracious. You hear me? I call upon him whenever I'm in need. He is my provider. I yearn from him. I yearn for him in the middle of the night. You hear me? He is my protector. Ooh, the spirit hit me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I was so grateful for these gifts, right? So I was like, oh, my God, I've graduated spiritually. It finally just like dawned on me. Yo, I graduated spiritually. And that meant so much to me because, you know, we be taught in the world of things that, you know, you have to have this and you have to have this type of material things and and if you, and then that makes it feel, seem like oh god is really blessing them you see what i'm saying but no 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 a real blessing a real a real spiritual graduation has nothing to do with the outer realm though you can achieve those things the not the man i can't even get it out of my mouth to know that I graduated and received this type of crown. Because, you know, when, when they graduate, they have the little, you have, we have the hat and the little tassel and everything on my head. That's how I felt. I seen myself literally graduating. But instead of it being a hat, it was a crown. You hear me? And with this crown came this scroll. You hear me? I'm telling y'all this for a reason. Because God know I don't tell my business. Because I be attacked so much. I be attacked from family. I be attacked from ex-friends. I be attacked from ex-lovers. I be attacked on so many levels. So I keep to myself. Right? So I'm telling y'all this for a reason. If you want to click off, you can click off right now. You could have clicked off five minutes ago. But if for those of you who want this right here, you're going to get it and it's going to happen for you. Something good is about to happen. You're about to graduate in the spirit. You are about to graduate. Okay? So let me keep on going. <clears throat> let me get some water, y'all. Who yeah. Okay, listen. So... <clears throat> Uh um. So, move, let's move right on the forward. Let's move, move right forward. I done graduated in the spirit, baby. You know, I'm a bad motherfucker now. I feel I'm a bad motherfucker now. But I wasn't even prepared for what came when you graduated and went to the next level. 
I was not prepared for the floodgates to freaking open. You hear me? And begin to reveal so much hidden shit from me. 1010 when I said that. So much hidden shit. So much hidden deceit. So much hidden witchcraft and roots being worked on me. And people secretly not loving me. Secretly wanting me to fail. And I know God when I, I know devil, and then you know you have them people still in religion and try to pull you. Oh, that's the devil talking to you. No, nah, bitch, this is not the devil. You hear me? So I begin to say my eyes was told to do specific things, and I did just that. And I put a mirror on my altar. Okay, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. And then I could not, no matter what I clean with, I could not get rid of these flies or nets. And I ain't had no fruit, no nothing in the house to even attract them. But I couldn't get rid of them, right? This mirror, okay, I had because I was truly manifesting with this mirror. And you know, with mirror magic, it basically reflects back the intentions that you have. So I made sure my intentions were always pure, loving, beautiful. You hear me? I am that I am. I will. I have. I feel this. You know, I'm telling y'all. And it was good for me. And it was working good. Until one day, the motherfucker doing spell work got in my mirror. I am not lying. Got in my mirror. I looked in my mirror one day and I wasn't even myself. That didn't even look like me. I kept saying, why the fuck don't this look like me in this mirror? I am not lying. I went to my other mirror and I'm just like, I kind of look like me in these mirrors. It was like this person had them tapped in. Who had, This is someone who, was, who has been doing magic on me since i was a child okay they knew they it was a portal um through that mirror to see the readings that i was giving myself not others but what i was giving myself because the readings i was giving myself i was speaking them out loud because remember i was so happy to have learned tarot and didn't learn it hell i just woke up and knew the shit like what the fuck how the hell i know this <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that sounds so I'm not y'all I'm telling you the supernatural is real it's real so ref and that didn't even look like me y'all <coughs> that didn't even look like me in the in the mirror I had it you see where I got this um, the, the eye sitting at I had a mirror sitting there you know I had a mirror sitting there a cute little mirror sitting right there. A little table mirror. And when I tell you this person was able to hear me change, suck the energy. I don't know because I remember I'm just being awakened to all of this. So I am just was like, what in the crap is going on? But that's what it was. This person was able to come in through the mirror magic. You understand? I mean, I didn't even look like me in that mirror. I don't know who that was. And I do not, and I didn't understand it. And, it, and I, I mean, and then one day I heard the spirit say, hey, take that mirror off of your altar. I am not lying, y'all. Listen, I was like, what? So I took the mirror off my altar. I did. I took the mirror off of my altar. Listen, y'all. Y'all got to listen. I took the, because remember, I and I'm te kept telling you, I, I don't know why I couldn't get rid of flies. Like, they was just, every, like, I just could not get rid of flies. And they was only in this room. No lie. They didn't even, they didn't even want to go travel up. They was only in this room. Once I took that mirror and got rid of that mirror off my altar, the flies died off. I, I mean, yeah. I'm telling y'all. Monitoring spirit from the flies. Monitoring spirit from doing um, magic with the mirror. 
because listen, was listening to the readings I was giving to myself out loud and going working witch on them, witchery on them. Yeah, going work, working witchery on them before I could even let them manifest. You hear me? Oh, okay. So that's what we're going to pull just a little cards right now. We're going to pull these cards um, about um, mirror magic. You guys need to make sure you always cleaning your mirrors um, with uh, vinegar and, and a cinnamon wash or all spice wash. Make sure you're not taking mirrors from other people. Like if they giving one away, you seen one at a um at a yard sale and you wanted that, don't do it. Leave the mirrors right there. Okay? Because you don't want that energy attached to to those mirrors in your house. Cause them demons live in there. You hear me? Yep. Yeah. I'm listen. What I tell y'all, remember I told y'all somebody was about to graduate. Remember, I said something good about to happen. Somebody about to graduate, baby. Somebody about to graduate. Somebody about to graduate in the spirit, man. And I can't do nothing but say, Go on here with your bad self. Go, shawty. You hear me? It ain't your birthday, but we go party like it's your birthday. You hear me? Okay. See if we can get one more. Okay, giving and receiving. I told y'all. I told y'all. There's about to be something great happen because God, you have really given your all in this life. In this lifetime, you've given your all. I'm hearing. You have given your all. And now it's time for you to receive a lot more than what you thought you could ever receive. Your heart is going to be content. Your mind is going to be content. A life full of success, a life full of growth, a life full of abundance. Because you have been rooted in the cause and in the purpose of what you were meant to be rooted in. Even in spite of, I'm hearing. In spite of, baby. In spite of. Yep. Somebody gonna graduate, but you need to do something about the mirrors. Make sure you're cleaning your mirrors. Even after you get them from a store. Even if they brand new. Clean your mirrors. But yes, I ain't lying, y'all. It was somebody else in the motherfucking reflection. I ain't look like me. And I and it was a and I didn't understand it. So it just was like every time I came in here, I am not like man, why do I look so different? I, I just ugh. I was disgusted with how I looked. I am not lying. And it's because if somebody's doing mirror magic. Mm -hmm. The sun, a lot of vitality. Mm -hmm. The nine of pentacles, a lot of vitality, a lot of um independence, a lot of growth, a lot of joy from within. And you truly like are oh, riding this thing out. Like, it's, it's, it's me against the world, baby. In your pop voice, it's me against the world. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. It's just me against the world, baby. <laughs> you truly live life like it's me against the world. You truly live life like that. And it's I'm hearing it's just time for, it's, it's time for you to be... To be rewarded is what I'm hearing. It's time for you to be rewarded for, for all the things you've been through, for all the things you've gone through, for your intuition, for your knowledge, for your growth. 
for your uncanniness, uncandiness, or canniness. I'm hearing uncanniness, ace of wands, and the nine of wands. You almost to success. Don't give up. That's what I'm getting with this nine of wands and this ace of wands. Don't give up. You're almost to the finish. Like, no, you are to. I'm sorry. You are to the finish line is what I'm just hearing. Somebody is about to graduate. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you girl, you like there, there. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is sneeze. Sneeze your way on into it. Sneeze your way on into it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, how y'all do? <laughs> I, I made it. <laughs> That's funny. I made it. I made it. <laughs> Ain't this something? That's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. There's about to be new, new passions, new inspirations. A very, a new creative spark is coming your way for sure. About to be a lot of celebrations, a lot of gatherings, a lot of giving to you. Mm -hmm. A lot of celebration of who you are. And this is just going to be a sudden change in your life. Okay, the conflict is about to change. It's time for you to relax. It's not time for you to juggle life. It's time for you to relax and enjoy life. Okay? So, yeah. I'm just going to end it here. And am. <laughs> well, this was my little story time. And I hope that it helps someone. If you like the way that this story went, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.